permit's been denied about 40 minutes ago. The announcement was made at the seven sacred fires. The permit's been denied. So we're spreading the word that the permit's been denied. Most likely it was denied by the United States uh, Justice Department and Army Corps of Engineers. The announcement came approximately 40 to 45 minutes ago, announced at the seven sacred fires. I think that's probably why the chairman was having a press conference at Media Hill. So each and every one of you are a part of history. This would have never happened if each and every one of you didn't come here. And this they would have never happened if the vets were not here at all. So each and every one of you go, go, go. played a part in history. So we're going to go on with plans with the veterans. We're going to still do things, but it's going to be in a celebration celebrated mood and the most important thing because as native people we got to see it in black and white I hope. Oh. Right? Oh. and even then it doesn't count sometimes yeah even then but uh, I thought I'd come up here and make the announcement to each and every one of you that because of you each and every one of you you played a part in this your party history this is the only time in American history and world history that over 350 Indian tribes have come together. This is the first time in history that people from all over the world has come here for an event where we will, we will never see this event ever again in our lifetime. No. And we may never see it again ever again. So if you can grasp that part of history of what you're playing, each and every one of you are special. And you have a part of it. I hope. Everybody does. I hope. Can we get your name out there? <laughs> huh? Can we get your name? I'm incognito. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> Actually, my name's Kenny Frost. I'm a Native American consultant. I work and train uh, federal agencies on the consultation process protection of sacred religious sites, Indian laws and treaties is what I do. I've been one of the very few going after the governor and the sheriff of uh, Morton County and all the police agencies who's been violating all the civil rights, all people who have come here. Uh, violations that occurred on um, November the 20th at the bridge, the Blackwater, when our people were hurt and injured. Well over 500 people uh, have faced a lot of trauma uh, losing an eye, perhaps, uh, multiple body body parts being damaged. One of our young ladies who's uh, fighting, or the doctors are fighting to save her arm from being amputated. That these charges need to move forward now on a federal level because uh, Morton County does not have any jurisdiction on Army Court land and should have never been there and has no arresting powers at all to arrest our people. 